Marriage represents one of life's greatest commitments, but it's also a declaration of love. Love is not something that you feel, but love is something that you're gonna choose every morning when you get up. You're gonna choose to love this woman beside me. That it is love which brought you here, and it is through love by which your marriage shall endure. Marriage represents one of life's greatest commitments, but it's also a declaration of love. So please listen as we read what the Apostle Paul wrote of love. Stephen and Danielle, this is that true model of love that you each should pursue, not only in your home and in your marriage, but in your life. First Corinthians 13, verse four says, love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy, it is not boastful. Love is not conceited. It does not act improperly. Love is not selfish, is not provoked, and does not keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no joy in unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. The healthiest of relationships are built not only on love, but on God who helps strengthen your marriage during the challenges of life. And so Stephen, Danielle both, I'd like to say to y'all in this moment, in front of your family, in front of your friends, and before God, love is not an emotion. Love is not something that you feel, but love is something that you're gonna choose every morning when you get up. You're gonna choose to love this woman beside me. You're gonna choose to love her in spite of failures, in spite of things that you might not like sometimes. It's a choice that you make, it's not a feeling that you feel. So Danielle, when Stephen comes in muddy, dirty, greasy, nasty, and steps on a clean floor, you choose to love him, even when you might not feel like loving him. It's a choice. Love is not an emotion.
Do you take Danielle to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, being faithful only to her, so long as you both shall live? I do. Now, Danielle, do you take Stephen to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, being faithful only to him, so long as you both shall live? I do. Now, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Stephen, would you kiss your bride? But ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Harrison. Stephen and Danielle, now that you are crossing this threshold into married life, let the love and trust that you have for one another continue to mature so that your life together may be a refuge and a safe haven for yourselves, as well as an inspiration to your family and your friends that are here today. If there's anything that you recall today, after this ceremony, please remember that it is love which brought you here and it is through love by which your marriage shall endure. 